Hey guys, what is up? It's Fado82 coming at you with some Rust gameplay. Wanted to talk about building around monuments and landmarks in the game. Is it beneficial? Does it add any security or benefits to your base building strategies? And let's go ahead and get right into it. So these players here have started to construct some buildings around one of the most notable monuments in the game, and it's kind of referred to as the globe. Uh, this particular design here shows that there's one building directly under the globe. There are some buildings surrounding it. They're starting to put up a wall. Perhaps their intention is to wall this area off completely. Up top here, it looks as though they have a building here that is probably housing some type of a loot room. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look just to see what they're actually putting in there. And it looks like some furnaces and a couple chests. So it might be some type of a loot room. That's certainly where probably I would want to put my loot if I were to use any type of a landmark or a monument because you want to make it as secure as possible and it's going to be probably hard for someone to get up there if they wall it off and in particular if they make the stairwell here blocked off. Uh, they have some signs here it says there's a community house it's the town of uh, New Compton, so feel free to join. I believe the town of Compton before on the server got raided, so I'm glad to see that they're rebuilding. These these guys seem to be pretty cool. Um, and so this must be the community building here. They have some community furnaces, and they do a good job of working together. I've actually come across these guys before, and they're good people. So I guess it's kind of an open-ended question that is it, is it good to build around a monument? And I don't know the answer to that. I can't say that it is, and I can't say that it necessarily isn't. The benefit to building around a monument would be that it is very distinguishable, and you'll always be able to find your way home. The disadvantage to that is that people are always also going to be able to find their way back to your base. So this monument is so well known that if a raider finds it once, they're going to know how to get their way back to the base. Different monuments, you know, vary um, in terms of perhaps the benefits of building by them. This particular one may have a little bit more going for it because it has this top area, which I wasn't aware that you could build on, but apparently you can, as we as we can see by these players putting this building up here. A benefit to this particular monument is that it gives them a good vantage point. So if they didn't have all the spikes up here, or they could probably use the outer the outer tier here, uh, but they could get up here with perhaps a bolt action rifle and really just get a good lay of the land. So I'm going to go ahead and say that these players uh, building their, their town here um, is probably a good move for them because a town that you want to attract people to, you want it, you want it to be at a place that people can find their way to easily. And a monument like this that has a road that leads to it would be a good way to attract attention. I think that this particular globe monument does add a good uh, vantage point to see if anyone's coming for you. And then they have the water in back of them, so they only really have to worry about sort of their sides and then what's what's in front of them. And that's a good strategy to building with your back to the ocean um, because it just sort of mitigates which you know directions you have to worry about. So it kind of narrows it down a little bit. Um, again, I'm not really sold on building by monuments. It's not something that I necessarily am a huge fan of. Uh, but for a town or a community like like the town town of New Compton that's going on here, Old Compton got raided. I think that it's a really cool concept. And um, yeah, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. I know that this video I'm not really giving you clear advice because I don't really have any. But I just kind of want to open up a dialogue about it. Should you build by monuments? If so, what are the benefits and what are the disadvantages? Fado82, peace.